Good morning, Fly Babies. Today is Friday, August the 4th, and um, it's my first video in a long time for you. I'm sorry that I was unable to do so, but I'm feeling much better, and uh, I'm thinking I'm still going to do live videos, maybe once or twice a week, just for fun, so you can ask me questions, but I still think you deserve to get a regular video every day, so this one is for you, at Home Fly Babies. On Friday, in the morning, we want to first of all do our morning routines, um, make sure the kids go through their morning routines, and then after that, right now, put in a load of laundry. Right after you finish breakfast and clean the dishes up, put in a load of laundry, and then while the laundry is running, go through an inch of paper, only an inch. And remember, when you're doing this, don't be freaked out if you're scared of all that paper. You're not gonna be doing anything with the paper. You're just gonna be um, arranging it. So when you look at it, you can say, okay, this is trash, I gotta put that in the shred pile. Trash, trash, trash. Ooh, that would. Ooh, I better take care of that. Put that over there. That is garbage. And ooh, I gotta file that. Put that over there. And that's how you do it. You go through it. You don't handle it. You just take the things that need to be thrown away. Throw them away. Go shred the things that need to be shred. And then take this pile of things that require action on your part and things that require filing and put them. Separate them out. You know, put the filing underneath the the action or vice versa and put it in your inbox to be handled on desk day. That's it. And then by then you can probably, it won't take you five minutes, so you'll still have nothing to do for a little bit while the washing machine is finishing. When it's done, put your things in the dryer. Don't forget they're in there though. And then what I'd like you to do is let's go to the next step because it's still morning and um, we're going to work on today's weekly uh, basic weekly plan and today on Friday is we empty out our purse and throw away the trash and put the things that migrated in there into your purse during the week in their homes and then put everything back in so now you're gonna know where your cell phone is and you're gonna know where your brush is and you're gonna know where your pen is and your checkbook and your mouth your lip gloss and your and your lozenges and that kind of stuff so you'll have a place for them and you'll know where that is. That feels so good to have an organized purse. And then go into your car and take everything out of the car that's not supposed to be in there. Make sure your things are in the back to go to the giveaway um, when you go out on your errand day to give those things away and continue to collect those in the back of the car or in the trunk. Um, then after you do that, that's all you have to do. By then you can probably check your dryer and see if it's ready, but it might not be. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is this week, has been zone one. So since you, we haven't really talked about it much, so zone one today, um, go ahead and go in the front porch and sweep it, shake your mat, uh, check your, your wreath, maybe you need to squirt that off, that's what I do with mine, and then wipe that door down, get a damp cloth, I use microfiber, it works great, get a broom and make sure you knock down all the spider webs, uh, maybe sweep the sidewalk and and that's all. I mean, you don't have to do too much out there unless you've got clutter and then you don't want to clean. You want to declutter for 15 minutes. Very few people have a lot of clutter out there unless you have like a big country house with a big porch and that you might have a lot more to take care of. But if you do, just 15 minutes, that's it. Set your timer. Then always remember to not reclutter it Reclutter everything because you're going to complete your processes and you're going to oversee your family to make sure that they complete their processes because it's no fun to declutter and then go back the next week and it's worse than it was before, right? All right, and then when that's over, you're going to play. I mean, that's doesn't. It's not going to take long. Maybe now, now you need to go fold the towels or whatever, and then the rest of the day is yours. And then at the end of the day, you're going to make. Of course, you're going to have lunch and clean up from that, but that's just so minor. And then you're going to do. Um, your dinner, and while dinner is is cooking, um, you can spend time with the kids or whatever you want to do, and then when you've done dinner and you've served dinner, everyone who is able takes their dish to the, to the disposal and scrapes it out and washes the plate off and puts it in the dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, scrapes their plate and stacks it ready for it to be washed, or if you have older children, that can be a delegated duty. The other things you're going to do for after dinner routine are wipe the counters, wipe out the sink, wipe off the stove, and get the little bits of stuff you dropped on the floor. That does not mean that you have to sweep the whole floor or mop the floor. We're not gonna do anything to hard. This is just a blessing. You're just gonna maybe just take a wet paper towel and go down there and wipe up whatever you spilled. Okay, that's it. 
or sweep that little spot. That's it. Or if the kids are small and they got food on the floor, maybe do that. That's all. And then get the kids ready for bed. Get yourself ready for bed or flip that around if it, it works better for you. And you're done. So I hope this was helpful for you today. Have a wonderful day all day today. And look forward to the weekend because on the weekend, as a homemaker, when you do all these things all week long, you don't have to do them on Saturday or Sunday. Just your routines. That's it. Enjoy your Saturday with your family. Enjoy your Sunday renewing your spirit. I'll see you on Saturday. Bye. Oh, and you are beautiful.